Hello all, I am Dr. Ashish Agrawat. In this video, I am going to discuss about the interference experiment in our laboratory. This experiment is performed to find out the constant systemic error. Okay, so it is performed to estimate the systemic error that caused by the other material that may be present in specimen being analyzed. Suppose we are estimating the glucose. Okay, and due to the other material like vitamin C, ascorbic acid. This other material is causing the systemic error. So we want to find out that that, is, that will cause a constant systemic error. So we want to find out for that we will perform the interference experiment. It is called constant systemic error because given the concentration of interfering material, regardless of concentration of salt analyte, this error will be constant. Suppose the glucose concentration is 100. Okay. And error caused by the interfering material is 5. Okay. So, if actual result is 100 and due to this systemic error, we get the 105 result. Okay. If our concentration is increased, still because of the concentration of interfering material is same, so result will be 205. Okay. If we increase the concentration, still we get the same error, that is a constant systemic error. Okay. So, we have to check whether there is constant systemic error is there or not. We have to perform the interference experiment. So, how we can perform? We can keep the concentration of the sample same. Okay. And in one tube, add the interference material. And in other tube, we use the, we add the water. Okay. So, in one, keeping the same concentration of sample, in one tube, we in, add interference in other we add the water okay so suppose we have a sample a and we add the interference and we get we have to duplicate the results okay to avoid any random error so we get two values 112 and 114 okay and with the same concentration of sample we add same amount of dilution that will be water then we get the result called 100 and 104 for the sample b after adding interference material, we get the result 108 and 1110 and with dilution we get the result 95 and 97. In sample C, when interference is material is added, we get the result 96 and 100. With the dilution, we get 82 and 86. Okay, here this interference material, okay, it can be icterus, okay, icteric sample or hemolysis or lipemia. Okay, so you can take bilirubin standard, bilirubin standard, okay, that are readily available. For hemolysis, what you can do, you can freeze the sample, okay, and followed by thawing. Okay, thawing will lead to the liquid liquefaction and ultimately it will we will get the hemolysis sample. And for the lipemia, we can use a fat emulsion. So these are the materials that can be used for the interference. Okay, now we have to average this. So one one two and 114 the average will be 113 and for the dilution we got result 100 and 104 so with the dilution the average will be 102 okay so we have to detect this 102 from 113 same way we get the average 109 and 96 and 98 and 84 for the sample b and sample c respectively okay now if we take the difference between these two, okay, so we get for sample A, we get the result difference is 11. For sample B, the difference is 13. And for the sample C, the result is 14. Okay, and we calculate the average difference that is 12.7. Okay, now whether it is acceptable or not. So what will be the criteria for the acceptance? Suppose for the glucose, the acceptable error, total allowable error, total allowable error is 10%. Okay, and here we have taken the concentration at upper reference limit, that is 1110. So 10% of the 1110 will be 11. So there can be maximum 11 total allowable error. Okay, but here we are getting the difference that is 12.7, which is more than the 11. So the performance of this method is not acceptable okay because of this constant systemic error okay so this is all about the interference experiment i hope you like this video 
If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for my future video also. Thank you for watching. Bye.